Someone has beat my record. Any percent, no wrong warp. That is incredible. I knew it was gonna happen eventually, and it excites me that there's actually a record broken. I don't know if I'm gonna actually go for the record. I'm, you know, I, I always say that I'm never gonna go back to records or anything like that, or I'm not sure, but I mean, who knows, I might, you know, there could there could be some like new strat or something, but does anyone remember the bounty that I made back in December of 2021? That's right, I said anyone who beats one of my three records throughout 2022, and it is still 2022, will receive $1,000 for each record that's broken. I don't even know if he knows about the bounty or not, he's about to get a nice surprise, but the record was beaten by somebody named kudo one K. He's a keyboard player and I think emulator player. We are going to dive into it a little bit. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but we're going to go look at some key points and some things. Of course, in order to beat the record, my previous record, you had to do Bowser's Basement. So he definitely does do Bowser's Basement. So let's just, let's just take a quick look because this is amazing. And congratulations to Kudo1K. I think he's been grinding it for a really long time now. I'm not sure. I think he got to like Bowser's Castle or No Hands. Like I think he said 20 times or something. I'm pretty sure Kudo tries to do the exact same thing as Zikubi, which is manipulate World 1 Hammer Brothers. They, they start at a very uh, specific moment um, at the beginning, kind of like uh, early hammer manipulation a little bit. You start at the specific moment, trying to uh, hit a certain set of frames when you finish the level and it should uh, give you a movement of one. And I think I saw somebody in the Discord say that he got the same RNG as me, which means which means there should be one movement of two here. So we got a movement of one. Most levels in this uh, should be going okay. Okay, here we go. We got one three. Yep, you got to do the fast strat. Boom, boom, he does the tail swipe. No, it's the jump over. A little bit of room for improvement right there. Um, he's got two stars, so he's going to have to do a turn back for eight two as well. Okay, let's see what hammer brother movement he gets here. He does get a movement of two. He's got a little fortress here. He does a duck slide under. I think that might be faster. I've never really done that before. Uh, in Warpless, you don't really care to push it that much to the limit, so. And then he does, he gets a final movement on. So three movements of one, one movement of two, okay? We go to World one 8, one. we got auto scrollers. Um, the next thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna see if he gets a forward movement from the boomerang bow or a backwards movement. And I'll go into a little bit of detail for you guys uh, who don't know what that means. All right, so I have my mouse, luckily, so you guys can see. When you beat the Hammer Brother, the chest won't appear until everything about the enemy is off screen. So that's the Hammer Brother and the Boomerang. So he got a good RNG. If the Hammer Brother moves backwards and then throws the Boomerang, the Boomerang only goes certain distance and then comes back and then goes off the screen and then the chest appears. But if the Hammer Brother moves forward here and throws the Boomerang, the Boomerang's gotta go all the way forward and go all the way back. So you want the Hammer Brother to move backwards or else, you know, the boomerang's on the screen longer. It's all about whether or not he moves forward or backwards. So he did get good RNG there. He does move backwards. Boomerang's on the screen for less time. Spawning the chest really, pretty cool. If you had a star, you could actually kill that boomerang, but it's a one and a half minute auto scroll. So I don't see any stars uh, coming into play. All right, so he does the flying strat, which makes that power up very, very easy. Okay. I assume he goes for the the zip, of course. Yep, I started doing that in my last attempts. I, I got it a couple times, but I was never able to secure in a run. It is a juicy time save. He got unlucky there. You know, it's funny because had he gotten that, he probably would have got pulled in by a hand. It's really weird to, to think about Mario 3 like that. Luckily, to stay sane, you just compromise. What you get is what you get, and you don't, you don't try and deal with anything else. That's just how it is. Okay, so we got some good fire shots. Oh, wow, okay. He got no hands, all right, he's on the Air Force. Right. See how his 8-1 goes. And uh, you, can, you can get lucky in 1-2 um, and get a Fire Flower without a turn back, and that would save you a little bit of time. It's really not that much time, it's frames. We're talking, I don't know, 10 frames max? Okay, we got 8-2. A2 is also a very easy level. These levels over the years have started to become very, very easy um, with consistency. Now that we have a good way of avoiding the sun, like overall, yeah, right there, you jump at that bush and then you just kind of change what you do depending on what the sun does very easily. All right, ooh, we got the jump, very nice. I mean, I don't know how else he was supposed to do it here. You, you have to get that jump there. 
Very nice. Gets the H. Early P speed. Nope, no early P speed. Okay. But he gets he gets the conveyor P speed, which is what you want. Okay, very nice. Okay, jumps over the orb there. Okay, so okay, so he he goes back and charges his movement. I've been told by numerous people in the Mario 3 community that that doesn't actually save any time whatsoever. I've been told by Bismuth and a couple other people who have said that like doing something like that doesn't save time. Is there anyone out there who knows for sure whether or not that saves time? Because I stopped doing that because I used to do that and have people have been telling me that it doesn't save any time and it doesn't make any difference. But it seems like he's doing it, so I don't know. Okay. Officially on pace. So there's one thing that I've noticed uh, with keyboard users is that this is the natural intended way of playing the game. There's certain points where I can accidentally press up inputs and ruin my run. Is that not possible on keyboard? That's something I've always been curious about with keyboard users. I've actually watched the Haxer lose a PB pace run in Warpless 50 minutes in because he accidentally pressed up in the doorway in the fortress. It's just the way it works. The controller's small, your thumb's moving, it, it happens. Accidental down inputs, accidental up inputs. And I've always been curious with keyboard users. I've never really used the keyboard, so I don't I don't know exactly how it works, but all right, goes in the pipe. Now there's no way he doesn't get Bowser's basement. Like there's no, we already know he got the record. All right, here we go. It's always so nerve wracking right here. It's always so scary right here. God, that feeling right there. When you hit that wall jump, it feels so good. And then he gets the kill. No way, no way, no way. Yes way, yes way. Holy shit, wait. I will wait, I promise. Go! Go! Is that it? Oh, oh, that's it. Very I nice. That's it. No way. <laughs> He's very, very excited. I, I would it. also be just as excited. I did it. Fuck. Yes. Yes. 1040. Oh so, so he has that as a 1041.15, uh, but it is a 1041.083. Guys, we are so close to a 1039. We have to hit a 1039. That's got to be the next goal. But with that being said, Kudo did do it and this is absolutely incredible. I'm so proud and I'm so happy of the Mario 3 community. It is incredible. Not to mention, he just earned $1,000. I kind of hope he doesn't know about the bounty because what a surprise. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this and yeah, we made some news. This is some good stuff and um, everyone stay safe and enjoy your Halloween, it's coming up. Thank you very much, everyone. Peace.